What's up, spectators? Welcome back to another episode of Divinity Dragon Commander. Again, twice now, we've done a battle where they've given me... In fact, they said there was a 17% chance of victory, something like that, and I freaking won. Look at this advantage. Boom, destroyed. Ugh, Sybil, you're being a real pain in the ass. Oh, the fight's not over. This isn't me, though, so I don't really care. What else are you planning? Oh, shit, right. 69% for 12 gold. It's worth it, I think. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. Oh. No, 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 no. That was great. Two casualties? That was a glorious victory. Uh, queen saves father's life, just wants to make certain she inherits his kingdom, Thelor's mistress confides. Okay. 85% imps. Wow, I'm ahead with the imps. Nice. Lizards, elves, dwarves. Dwarves, 70%. I'm doing pretty well. Gold revenue of this country by 200% for two turns. That is a great card. What do you have to say? Horror of horrors, Commander. Claudella, our foremost artist, turns out to be a sinner of sapphic sentiments. Such transgression cannot be condoned. The gods will not stand for it. All her works shall be pulled down onto the ground and smashed into the dust. Seven forgive us for having admired her so. Oh, it's about artwork. Once more the undead are in an uproar over nothing, Commander. Now they are systematically tearing down the statues of their own foremost artist because she made the posthumous confession of being gay. What on earth moved her to do so, we'll never know. But the results are tragic. Please tell Yorick to calm his kin. A civilized society should not stand for such barbarism, whether the gods approve or not. Should I talk to him again? Hold on. Oh, wait. Yorick. Well, let's, see, let's see what everyone has to say. Remember I mentioned the artist Della Gecko a while ago, Commander? Brilliant. Gay. Well, I have another example. The undead sculptress Claudella, who sadly perished a short while ago because of some strange disease that sometimes plagues her kindred. Ooh. She was an artist of profound mastery, revered by every single one of the undead. But now that in her last will and testament, she revealed to have had a long-standing physical relationship with a woman they always assumed to be her sister, the vermin are systematically destroying all her works. Beautiful bronzes, marvelous marbles, all are falling under the hypocrite's hammers. But you can do something about this, Commander. You can stop this madness. And if you won't, give me the order and I'll bash the skull of each vandal I meet. I like your style, let's see. Don't go bashing skulls, Scarlet. I'll take care of this. It's sad and ridiculous that the undead would destroy a work of genius because of someone's nature. Look, if the undead are so hell-bent on destroying her work, then be so be it. I'm not going to create a diplomatic incident because some sculptress turned out to be gay. Oh, well, now he won't allow it. Like a first world nation that shouldn't be overextending themselves, I'm going to interfere with other people's business. Couldn't have said it better myself. Cheers, Commander. You're officially a patron of the arts now. I shall raise a toast to you tonight. And in the meantime, try not to succumb to the temptation of yanking away Yorick's lower jaw and throwing it overboard. Under my rule, you'd be given the cross of bravery for that last action, Commander. Well done. Damn straight. I did really good then. Naught but a skirmish we fought today. But the way you handled it was... All right. Damn right. It was awesome. I was awesome. What else can we do? Let's look at the mastery. I don't really need Juggernauts, I think. Let's see. Hmm, tricky, tricky stuff. We can got Devastator Ammo. No, I don't want that. I don't want that at all. Let's see, Imp Fighter Passive, Hunter Teleportation. Wow, that's really good. Holy crap, Hunter. Um, I don't really make too many of those, do I? That's an amazing ability. Let's see, Zeppelin Fog of War. See, that's great for multiplayer. I don't really care here, though. Shaman Charm. 
Should I do it? Great for huge, hard hitters. This might be worth getting. Perhaps. Hold on, let's go to the Royal Chamber and see what we've got for, um, uh, Dragon Cards right now. Your generals speak highly of your... My privilege, Commander. Okay. Dragon's passive health regeneration is improved. Aren't these cards? I thought they were cards. Advantage target passive. Hmm. Let's see. Okay. Let's look at the advanced. Target self, advantage. Target area, target, target self. Aura. Permanent debuffing aura. Hmm, that's pretty good. It's gonna be master, actually. I can afford one master. Permanently increases damage done by friendly units in a 1500 meter radius. So, hmm. You know what? I'm gonna go with this aura. That's pretty awesome. 30% damage increase? You bet. Alright, let's get out of here. And two. Wait. Once more, dear. Yes, please All tell right. Yorick to come. Alright. Let's go. Okay. Let's see what we have to deal with now. We've got this lovely war factory. Just fantastic that's here. Really happy about that. Hmm. I don't like these boats, though. Where's that? Here it is. Is there, any, is there anything in it? Nope, there's nothing in it right now. Ah, uh, two grenadiers, one devastator. We can we can try it. We can risk it. Certainly a risk. Unload. Two, three. Hmm. Let's put. Yeah, do it, do it, do it, do it. And then move them here. Let's see. What else is there? Seriously, what's up with everyone in their transports? They're making so many transports. I can increase revenue here if I want. You know what? Let's do that. Let's play a card. Aerial units, naval units, 50%. What? 75% discount? That blows my mind. Um, 200% for one turn. Let's do that. Play another card. Air units, naval units. Oh, yes. Now, where's that damn transport? Whoo, mama. Let's go with two for now. Bomber balloon to solidify my hold of the area. And grenadiers. Hold on a minute. Can I still afford? Damn. All right. Totally worth it. It's ridiculous. Because look how much they normally cost. Seven. That was an amazing card. All right. Now that we have those here. How many units do I have? Two, one, one shaman. Let's put a shaman over here. Two, one. I like it. I like it. Yo, oh, you might send another boat down there, though. That does scare me a little. Let's try and even it out a little. There we go. One, one, two. This, I definitely need a lot of units here, though. Three gold left. That's not a whole lot. Let me think about what I want to do now. Let's, build, let's buy a unit over here. Let's buy a trooper. I can afford one trooper. Okay. I don't see any transports over there. What are in these? Scaring me. 
Let's leave it alone for now. All right, let's end the turn. Ooh, let's see what happens. What are you gonna do, huh? What are you planning? Green. What are you doing? What are you? Thirteen gold. I just realized how much gold they can produce. They can make so many units. Holy shit! They're invading. They're really invading. Oh, mother of God. Oh, it's because it's a capital. No wonder. I want it bad. Hey, that's my transport. Don't do that. Oh, wait, no, it's not. Different battle. Good. Screw green. Screw green up. I bet there are a ton of units in that, too. Whoa, 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 whoa. Am I really gonna go to battle over this one transport? We'll see. Go! You can do it! You can do it! You can do it! Do it, do it, do it. Ah! Going for the underdog. Wait, that's how it works? I thought the boat was already there! Bullshit, what? Oh, what the hell? lost a lot of good men in that, in that transport. Like, seriously, I lost a lot of people. Emperor protects art of pervert sculptor. Brr. Juggernauts unleashed. Combat card. Unit acquisition. And what else? Revenue increase? Gold revenue of this country by 250%. I dig it. You may have gone against us. You may think you have won, Commander, but you have done no such thing. What is left of Claudella's works is locked away in so-called museums, away from the eyes of every undead. Not a single one of us will enter these places ever again or be stricken down by the Seven. Shut up. Nobody cares. Bravo, Commander. You went out of your way to preserve the legacy of a fine artist and did so despite the diplomatic ramifications. We lizards commend you. I feel like you shouldn't. I shouldn't have interfered, but I did. When victory and defeat befall you in- Okay. Good news, Commander. The undead riots have been squelched, and the many artworks of Claudella that escaped their pitiful eye have been placed in various museums where they're guarded round the clock. Fantastic. That'll show those intolerant bastards. This is a great victory for mankind everywhere. A victory of nature over nurture. Of freedom over oppression. The undead need to know one can be gay and held in high regard nonetheless. Let that be the lesson. This whole business was about art, of course, but still. Let that be the lesson. Well done. Very good. We can do better than- Very happy. Ooh, another new commander. Ooh. You are well aware it is the imp's great destiny to create the biggest and baddest explosion ever. One that can reshape our world. And I'll have you know we are getting closer to its realization. Our scientists have discovered the location of what they suspect is a metallic element of such formidable combustibility. At first they thought they were having one of those very special dreams. We want to mine it, of course, but the thing is, it can only be found beneath a couple of dilapidated elven graves. Oberon's making a fuss, but you'll allow us to dig, won't you? Oh man, we were getting just along, getting along with the elves. To upset the remains of the dead where they lay is a grievous outrage, Commander, for they may yet be blessed by the Seven and be reborn into the perpetuity of the bow. Let no imp undo this holy destiny that may yet come to pass. Okay. A couple of dilapidated graves. We are talking about the fields of Evergreen, the most ancient, sacred, and beauteous of elven burial grounds. You cannot possibly allow Trinculo and his cronies to desecrate these hallowed plots. I could create acre upon acre of perfect golden barley, where right now a thousand imps are left to rot in shallow graves. But you don't see me going around demanding Trinculo's kin to uproot its forefathers 
for the sake of perfect golden ale. At least, not yet. And finally. Rather than argue for or against the deconsecrating of Oberon's ancestors, I'd like to ask you to consider whether it would be wise at all to encourage the creation of uh, the biggest and the baddest explosion ever. Me, I don't think it is. Well, that's one against 4-4. Four, four. And I'm highest with the imps right now, I think with around 85%, so it's definitely, politically speaking, it's way better to go for it or uh, and deny him the, right, uh, the chance to destroy this cemetery graveyard. Ancient burial ground. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it down. Sorry, buddy. But, but, great destiny. Big explosion. So close. Oh, why do you have to be such a spoil sport commander? Who cares about Evergreen Fields when you could have ever greater fireworks? Sorry, little buddy. By protecting these dead remains, you are quite possibly saving many a life, commander. If ever they rise from their slumber, it is you they shall thank for it. Bless you, commander. Tampering with deceased forebears is never a good idea. The blades of ghosts cut deep, and such wounds never heal. Skulking around graveyards is a ghoul's business, Commander, not an imp's. Let them dig elsewhere, at the bottom of the ocean, for all I care. I realize an explosive device like the world has never seen might be a tempting prize for a warlord such as yourself. But what would be its merit if, after its use, there is no world anymore to conquer? All right. Pretty happy with the decision. All right, let's go ahead and uh, move on, I guess. Let's see. Oh, actually, wait, no. It's been 17 minutes, so I'm going to end this video here. So stay tuned tomorrow for the next episode, and thanks for watching. Bye! Where'd he go? Oh. Howdy, buddy. Whoa. Yes, it is a lock. Oh, that's clever placement right there. That's a tricky one. Good thing I'm a genius. Mm, no, that's not it. You want me to use the key by dragging left. Did I just lock him in? That's what he